Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the best data recovery software that you can use in Windows 11 25H2. So Windows 11 25H2 was recently released. And of course, data can always be lost. Files can be always accidentally deleted. And in those situations, we need a software that can help us recover those files while keeping their integrity. And in this video, we're going to talk about Tenorshare 4DDIG Data Recovery, which is a software that you can use for free up to 2 gigabytes, and it supports 2000 plus file formats and it can allow you to recover data after formatting OS crash and hard disk problems. You can try out the free version from the description below if you want. And in this video I'm going to showcase all the main features and how to use the software. Once you open the software for the first time you're going to notice that it has a very simple interface and of course it is very intuitive for the average user. We have the main home page here in the right side where we can select a location to start searching but in the left side we can notice that we can also do data recovery from an SD card camera recovery, cloud drive, crashed PC. We can also use the file repair tool. And we also have a toolbox with some utility tools that allow you to do other stuff with different Tenorshare products. For this video, I've prepared a USB drive that has a few files in it. We have here two old papers. You can see their preview here. And also we have a video file that we're going to accidentally delete from the USB drive. And then we're going to recover them using Tenorshare 4D DAG to see if the software does a good job in recovering files files of different types. So first of all, let's completely delete these files. As you can see, I've permanently deleted them. Now let's open up the software and try to recover them. We're going to go into the external drive section, and then we're going to select our USB drive. And then we're going to have to select what types of files we want to recover. Of course, knowing the file types that you lost or accidentally deleted is very useful because it will allow you to have a quicker scan and also recover those files quicker. But of course, if you don't know what type of file file you lost, you can always select all the supported file formats. In this case, we know that our deleted files are photos and videos. So we're just going to leave photo and video selected. And then we're going to click on scan selected file types. Now the scan will start and the USB drive will be scanned for all the possible images and all the possible image formats that were lost. And the same thing will happen for the video file. So of course, we're going to wait a bit. It's going to take a few minutes depending on the size of the storage where you are scanning. So of course, stay patient and wait for the scan to be finished so that you have the best chance of recovering files. As I've said before, when recovering files, there are two factors that are really important. First of all, how much time has passed since you accidentally lost or deleted those files. And of course, the file format, because a file that was deleted recently, and it is, for example, a text file will be way easier to recover than a file that was deleted, let's say a week ago, and it was a large video file. After the scan is finished, we can click on OK, and then we can recover our data. Here we have a fortunate case because I have a USB drive with only about 8 gigabytes and we have a very small number of files that were recovered, especially that we selected only photos and videos. But in case you have a lot of files and you want to filter them better, you can use this button to filter them. You have your options to filter related to file status, file type, modified date, file size, and also file tags, alongside with the ability to change how the files are shown. And you can also use AI search to to search within your files. So I think that is pretty nice. Now let's expand lost files and also file name lost. And let's select our photos that we've lost. For example, we have JPEG, pretty sure that our files were JPEG. So I think these are the two images. As you can see, we can also see a preview of those images. And also we should have an MP4 file, which is this one. As you can see, this is the exact file that we lost because we can see it in the preview. So these files were permanently deleted, but we can recover them using this software. So we're going to go into the JPEG section, we're going to select our two wallpapers, and then in the MP4 section, and then we're going to select our MP4 or video file. And then with the three files selected, we're going to click on recover, and then we're going to recover them on our desktop. Of course, it is recommended to recover your files on a different location than the location where you recovered them from. You can also use the cloud drive in this software if you want. Let's now click on save now, you also have the option to repair and recover. But in this case, I think we're good to only recover, we're going to click on that. And then automatically, the folder will be opened where we recovered our files. So let's check them out, they will be categorized into formats, we have JPEG, 
let's see the images and as you can see in this case one image was successfully recovered and one wasn't actually successfully recovered so this can happen whenever you recover files this is something pretty normal you don't have a 100% chance necessarily to recover your files but let's also see our mp4 file and as you can see it is successfully recovered it doesn't have any corruption so we can use it with no issues I think this is great news because as I've said video files are usually harder to recover than other formats so this is pretty much how you can use tenor share for the DIG to recover your files in Windows 11 25 h2 it is pretty simple in my opinion so of course take your time scan your disks and see what files you can recover also to mention as I've said you also have the options to recover from an SD card camera recovery cloud drive crash PC you also have file repair which can be pretty useful if you want to use it and of course here you can repair certain files for example audio image videos and more additionally it has to be said that if you have the free version and you want to have the two gigabytes of free recovery you're just gonna have to go into the share section of the software at the top right and then just share the software on Facebook or Twitter to get an extra 1.5 gigabytes with a total of two gigabytes of file recovery space that you'll get on the free version of Tenorshare for DDIG so I think that is more than enough to recover some photos or some small videos if you want to do that and as I've said don't forget that in the description below you're gonna have more information about Tenorshare for DDIG where to get it and other important information if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was imani from techbase until next time have a nice day